Hello everyone and welcome to my nerdy little corner of the internet. This could be the start of something new. Today we are talking about New Year's resolutions, both for myself and for Ravensburger. This is a fun little exercise for the new year and I have five resolutions for myself and five for Ravensburger's Locana. And I'll be alternating between the two of these. Alright, let's get going. My first resolution for Knives Nerd Corner is to average one video a week for the year of 2023. A video? You're going to make a video? What kind of video? This doesn't seem like that many videos, but this is still the first year of this channel, and I don't know what I'm doing. So there might be a period where I just disappear again. Uh, who knows? But that's 52 videos for the year. I'm sure I'm going to make more than that, but this is kind of a good benchmark. And it will help me remain consistent with my videos throughout the year. I did a similar thing with Rokana for their first resolution. Their first resolution, in my mind, is release the first set and have a game plan public for 2024. A lot of TCGs revealed their schedule for the following year during the third or fourth quarter of the year. And I expect Rokana to be no different. My second resolution for Nisner Corner is to have a play set of every single card. Now, we don't know how many cards are in a playset, but the general idea is that there's three or four cards as a playset. I can also use the cards that I collect to make deck tech videos later on in the year and to use it for my own playtesting means. My second resolution for Lorcana is continue the communication. This is Talon to Wingspan. Talon to Wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I am in position, and I am reporting that Egghead is preparing to break curfew and sneak out of the house to go to a party, and you said that she's not allowed to leave, but she's about to leave, and she has no idea that I'm here. She has no idea that I can see her. She's about to do it. The Lorcana Twitter team has been amazing, interacting with the community, and even having some creators reveal information on their behalf which is just insane. And the Lakana Twitter team is absolutely amazing and I really hope they continue this. My third resolution for Knives Nerd Corner is to hit 500 subscribers. We are at 77 subscribers at the time of this recording and I am so grateful for everyone who's decided to jump in and listen to my content. I think we can get this group bigger and larger as more news comes out and we learn more about this game. Lorcana's third resolution, have a successful release. This is kind of nebulous because a successful release could vary depending on who's looking at it, but I consider a successful release as one where everyone who wants to participate in this release is able to do so and it's affordable and available. My fourth resolution is to meet and collaborate with both Lorcana and other content creators. The Illumiteers, Citizens of Lorcana, and the Lorcana cast are just a few of the great people who love this game and have made content. And I hope to give them all high fives in person and play a game with all of them as well as jumping onto their channels and them jumping onto mine. I don't compete for views with them. We are all different cameras shooting at the same game and community with different lenses and voices. Lorcana's fourth resolution is to let content creators spoil cards. This is a fantastic way to grow members of your community and it's free marketing, which is always a plus. Point and evidence of this is my video about how many inks you can have in your deck. That video alone tripled my subscribers and I couldn't be more thankful for that. But it's evident that things like that do work as that news spread across the internet, including a little miscalculation on my part. My fifth and final resolution for myself is if there is such a thing in 2023, I want to be at the world's competition for Lorcana performing in some function, whether it's a player, a broadcaster, 
or a judge or some other job I can do there. I think that would be an amazing experience to have. And Ravensburger, if you need judges, I would be so happy to get an early copy of those rules so I can master them and be able to teach others and judge games very effectively. I am a very good referee. <laughs> I also have this wonderful broadcasting voice. Oh my goodness, they have cast the Cruella for this very awesome combo that they have in their deck. You have my DMs. <laughs> and my fifth and final resolution for Lakana is to learn from the mistakes of the other trading card games. 2022 has not been a great time for the big three. There have been tier zero formats. There have been uh, poorly designed and community death products that have come out. And a lot of people are leaving those games because of that. And I want to make sure that Lurkana sees what's happening and goes, oh, yeah, we're going to learn the lesson from them and not make $1,000 booster packs of proxy cards. These are the resolutions I have for myself and for Lurkana in 2023. We will check in at the end of the next year and see how everything turns out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.